Hello and welcome back to our C++ Primer course for beginners. In this episode, we're going to go through arrays and how to set them up. So let's get started. So we've seen a couple of variable types already. You've seen int and you've seen card and there's other ones that float as well and so on and so forth. Uh, but there are many others in, inside of uh, our code that we can use. And these are just the common basic ones. Now we can also define these as arrays. So for example, if you want an array of integers, I can just put in int and I put in the name of the which I want to use, let's say my array. And then in square brackets, I define the size of my array. So I can do five, for example, and then end that line there. And that's going to set up an array of integers that are called my array, and it's got five parts to it. And now I'm going to assign elements to that by going to say my array, and in square brackets, define which index I want to use. So I'm going to use uh, index zero because they are zero based. So the first index of it in that list is zero. Uh, we we'll use zero, and then I can assign that a value. Okay, and that's going to output the value of my array zero okay so if i run that you should see here it's outputting 12 which is my array zero so we can also uh, initialize our array at the time of declaration as well much like we do with other variables but for an array you put in equals and in here you put in curly brackets and you put in your different array values. So do 12, 10, 13, five, six. Okay, so we've got five elements there, 12, 10, 13, five, and six. And now I can go to this, and that's gonna do the exact same job when I put in the end line there, and play that, and we'll see it's outputting 12, because that's the first item in that index. So let's actually now do a for loop for this and output each number in this array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do for and identify the starting point. So initialize it with an integer, we'll call it x, and we'll do equals uh, zero. Semicolon x is less than five, because there's going to be five inside, so five. And and then finally x increment and then do curly brackets and inside of here we're going to do c out my array I'm going to copy that put that in there uh, but in my array here i'm going to actually put in rather than putting in a index i'm going to put in x so what's going to actually happen now is it's going to put in insert this x value into my array x here so what we should get is each number printed out so I'm just going to put in a new line as well here by just doing uh, this as well. And I can now hit the play button. And now you can see here it is printing, oh, it's printing the contents of that array. Okay, so we're using that array to go through and insert all that stuff into it. And there we go, we've now got arrays covered and we can now start using them in our code fairly easily. In the next episode, we're going to start looking at something that's a bit more unique to C++ and that is pointers. So we're going to go through and explain what they are and how we use them. So you watch the next episode right now on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.